storage area, rural area, costs around 250,000 euros. Of course, if you go higher up in the mountains and buy an old village house, that might cost you much, much cheaper. Limassol is a very expensive place now for local people to live and to buy and rent houses. Gentlemen, may I have your attention for a minute? We almost arrived at the port. Um, we got back on time. I'm sorry for that. Uh, I would like to thank you for your cooperation and for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed the tour. I would like to thank our driver, Stelios, also for his excellent driving. Thank you, Stelios. Thank you. And we'll try this uh, drive the same the smallest i would say we didn't pass by but if you have google pictures over out i think that is the first picture that will actually come up and on the top you will see these sculptures that pictures this deer it is a specific deer the animal of roads one of the symbols of the island it's a deer that lives in the forests in the south legs underneath getting into the um, port and exit as well it was not exactly like that i will tell you the story the sculptor was actually from lindos that we're going to visit on the left a small beach this was actually the fifth harbor in the ancient times the southern harbor at, as it was known just behind us we passed uh, by this uh, lovely taverns it is do expand but outside the inhabited areas in the ancient times already. The Greeks didn't want to have uh, the deceased together with those that were still alive, so white buildings with the red domes, that is what the Italians created. So they used this place as a spa back then, and for the opening, the Italian king actually came. The word hydrotherapy, hydro means water. Some scenes from, well, I think you are too young actually, but a movie from the 60s, if you remember with Anthony Quinn, do you know which one I mean? Not Zorba, not Zorba the Greek, that was actually made on Crete. Mm -hmm. And Anthony Quinn danced so well in that movie, people actually think he was Greek, but the guns of Navarone, if that tells you anything, yeah. with uh, David Niven, Gregory Peck, yes, of course. Anthony Quinn, Irini Papa, the Greek actors. So there is a bay a bit further that actually is known as Anthony Quinn Bay also. Like a little paradise down there. Green blue waters, it's amazing, like a little natural uh, port. You see the beach on your left? 
and this is a tourist resort known as Faliraki. Faliraki. It is uh, within Faliraki that Antony Queen Bay actually is. The island is full with beaches like this, uh, long uh, ones, but also like natural uh, ports I mentioned. Some are with sand, some with uh, pebbles, some with a mixture. Everyone find their own, finds their own um, favorite. But Fali right? they are more new and recent. They were built about, well, 10, 15 years ago. But you have to imagine this place, you saw quickly a lot of hotels in the area but just imagine this place without any buildings at all until the late uh, 60s even more the beginning of 70s I would say really uh, of course a lot of hotels created so this was the first and most known tourist resort on roads Faliraki a lot of bars clubs and so on further ahead the center of uh, Faliraki The East Coast is so much more developed touristically in this way than the West Coast. The North Greek, I would say smaller uh, villages, more far from each other. I guess it will be quite crowded in Lindos. Well, it's like a ghost town. Some exceptions, sometimes you see people working, you know, in the restaurants, in the shops restoring, repairing, preparing for the season to come. The owners most often live in villages nearby or in the city of roads in the north. Notice still in Faliraki, and as we will turn uh, right in a moment to get uh, on the main road, just in a moment, you can have uh, a look uh, quickly on your left. There is a sculpture above an entrance to a coffee shop here nearby. But if you have a look on it, uh, this uh, supposed to picture Colossus of Roads. So this is how it was supposed to stand according to the legend one the, to the legend one the leg over at each side not possible though as the Greeks were for correct proportion symmetry harmony in the ancient times so um, we know the height you see and knowing the height around 32 meters tall and the width of the port that is so much wider. So in that case, Colossus of Rhodes would have unproportional, would have had unproportional long legs if it was ever on that spot. Well, I will tell you more about it uh, later on. A symbol of Rhodes, of course. educated in this school so he learned Greek fluently he was one of the killers of Julius Caesar if you remember but um, this is another irony also that after his studies here he actually returned taking all the treasures of the city with back to Rome on uh, earth and in the world but um, the Roman Empire got divided in size, also developed touristically, of course. They have a beautiful beach that also we locals would prefer, a Fondo beach. Known for the apricots here, every village is. And they are, are a part of the um, exhibition with the beautiful things that are exact Cora. You know, the one with the two handles, right? Amphi means both sides 
Amphora means to carry. Amphora, well, to carry from both sides. The two, uh, the two uh, handles, right? Think of the world, uh, so, sorry. I think I didn't have my coffee yet. Sorry. <laughs> the word amphitheater, I wanted to say. Amphitheater, right? right? You have a view from both sides. That is what I tried to say. But uh, enjoy the view also down below. That is the most known sandy beach road. Has its name after the little church is on the top of the hill. That is a monastery once known as Zambika. Zambika is the local name for Holy Mary, actually. I will tell you about this place also later on. We will get dropped off here, straighten our legs. We'll be. completely harmless. <laughs> this way, please, ladies and gentlemen, gather around the wheel. Come as close as you like. Take pictures, take videos, feel free. Tina, you must me. Ah, post of Magma. So, everyone, welcome, good morning. My name is Manuel and I'm going to explain to you everything you need to know about this place and this art. And our first stop is going to be here with Mr. Andoni, one of our two porters who's been working with us for more than 40 years. He was my father's best man. Everyone here is related, more or less. And of course, that's not a good thing for work. <laughs> it's another story though. Now, Mr. Andonis is creating a small place for you, and later my job is to explain to you how this piece of clay is going to end up looking completely different in three weeks from now. An example. Three weeks later. Some of you may have seen something like this before, if not all of you, correct? Has any of you ever tried to do something like this? Were you proud of the result? Great, I'm so happy for you because most people are not. It's natural though, it's something like this is extremely challenging. He's very experienced, he's very talented. He started practicing when he was five years old. He was taught by his father, also a potter back in the day. You have to be very precise, very gentle in order to do something like this. I mean very gentle with your movements. The base, the shape that he is going, actually that he is creating right now, is a traditional shape. Um, very, very important for the island of Rhodes. Especially these details, because it resembles, uh, it looks like the hibiscus, the most traditional flower on the island of Rhodes. And since I've started talking to you about the hibiscus, I have to explain also the, some of the designs behind me. Before I do, Andonis is forming the hibiscus. After some final adjustments, he's going to present it to you, and you can give him an applause. Yeah. 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 Now, the beginning, the end, three weeks apart, and I'm going to explain to you how. But before I do, it's a symbol for Lingus, and of course the whole island. Some of the geometrical designs, ideas of my grandfather, they are symbols of our work and our family and some symbols for good luck, like the rooster and the symbol of wisdom, the owl. Now, please, turn around and I'll go on the other side of the table. You can go as close as you like to the ladies. Excuse me. Thank you so much. Please, come close to the ladies. Uh, Which you can even join me around some of you. <laughs> so, you can keep taking pictures, photos, uh, videos, whatever you like. Of course, you can come as close as you like, as long as you don't touch anything, please, on this table, because nothing is by heart or by memory. This is what my father and I also do. When we are done with the patterns, with the engraving, we have to fire these items twice. And before the first time, they have to be completely dry. You see, looking like this. Beautiful. We are able to fire this now without any accident, without any risk. After being fired for the first time, it's going to come out of the kiln looking similar to this color wise. 
This is the color that the radio is supposed to look like. Mm. Okay, now we have to make this colorful. How? Using the bubbles, just like the lady is doing right now, squeezing the bubbles, releasing the glaze color inside, and the color is going to flow into the lines, filling the shapes. When the lady is done with her part, we are going to have items at this stage. Fully glazed. Is it ready? What do you think? No. no. Correct. It needs to be fired once more. Correct, ma'am. If I touch this right now, my father is going to kill me. Because I'll destroy the power. Well, I suppose you like this plate, but you're this plate. Well, really? Solid blue marine will turn to three different shades of gray. Wow. The one I'm holding here is prior to the firing. The one I'm holding with my left hand is after the firing. Identical items. All because of the heat. These are waterproof inside out and the glazes are completely lead free. That means that you can use these items, not just decorate them. You can serve on these items, eat on these items, and if you use them somehow, you have to be able to clean by hand with the sponge or by dishwasher. These are dishwasher safe. Or the best option, if you ask me, you can just hang them on the wall and never bother cleaning them. <laughs> this is really important, and I have to ask you: Do you know what is this? Can anyone tell me what is this? A goblet. Well, I suspect the way I build it up, you were expecting something more, but yeah, it's a cup. <laughs> <laughs> but not any of it. If you look, if you look inside, there is a column in the middle. If you know something about it, man, spoiler alert. Uh, there is a column in the middle, two walls down the bottom of the column, and a third one around the same height as the column. But why all this? Pythagoras, the ancient Greek philosopher, invented this cup using this art in order to stop his students from getting drunk every single day by drinking too much wine. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you. You are only allowed to drink one cup of this per day. I define the amount, I define the amount, hence the line, and every student gets the same. How? You can still use the cup just like any other cup as long as you play by the rules. And the rules are, do not cross the line. <laughs> you see? Oh, yes. As long as I'm staying below the line, I'm perfectly fine. I can enjoy my wine. But I am a greedy person, so I to <coughs> more, so I'm going to fill it up. And once I do... Oh, oh, that's good. And I'm not going to lose that extra, I'm going to lose everything. This is my punishment for being greedy. You want more? You are going to lose everything. A small amount left, the drop of consolation, not enough to get you drunk, that's for sure. <laughs> the point is, don't be greedy. The cup of justice, the greedy cup, the cup of Pythagoras. But how does this thing work? Yeah. Pythagoras actually invented the flask, the siphon. Now, this is the, the exact same way as the siphon. Now, Two more things, and then I will let you see around. Just in case you'd like to purchase something. You can take it with your powder rock completely safe. Or you can have it sit at home, fully inserted, track sitting, long story short. You are covered in any case. You can use debit, credit, American Express, Discovery, uh, PayPal, whatever works for you best. Or you can get 15% off as a discount by using cash euros or even US dollars. Uh, bathrooms, washrooms, out the main door, on your left. One really important thing I forgot to mention. You can serve on these items, but you will never cook with these items, okay? Soup, tea, chocolate, it's good, but no oven, no microwave. Thank you for listening to me. Have a nice time, enjoy. Thank you. That would be Angelica.
that means looking like an angel, also pretty. But the word arch, mm -hmm. arch means there. the first, the greatest, the highest. Up top. Compared with the, you could see them all around in the middle of nowhere even. Here on the left, you see, this is a Byzantine one, little church from 14th century. They're not used in the sense having a bit smaller in size, but really fast, easy to steer. They had three levels with oars, and according to Homer, the great uh, poet, mentioning, he's mentioning that the Indians took part in the Trojan War with nine ships. The first maritime law ever got founded here in Lindos. The naval law that later on uh, the Roman got based on which means the one that we use today in modern times. But he was one of the seven sages in the ancient times. We call them seven wise men in antiquity, but seven sages is the expression for you. And he was a ruler in Athens and the founder of laws there, but they were very good friends, but both belonged to this little group of seven sages. What a coincidence, one would say, perhaps. But um, Cleobulos, here in Lindos, he came with this uh, expression, for example. He came with many, but one of them was that is used in many languages and cultures. You should always live in moderation, he said. It was his motto. All things in moderation. Not uh, anything to be too much. Or too little, for that matter. Just enough. All things in moderation, nothing in excess. So nearby the parking, you will see this sculpture. <laughs> Anyhow, that is the thing. Uh, however, getting to the square together, actually from there, you are free to go, right? However, for you that wishes, you will just follow me further on, right? And whenever you want, you could leave the line. We will walk all the way up to the Acropolis. But if you feel tired, please remember this. There are a lot of stairs, it could be hot. It's a bit slippery on the way up. No fence, no handles to hold on to. Please be careful, especially on the way down. And as you are following, getting higher up, enjoying the view, take some lovely pictures. But if you feel tired, never ever stress yourself or force yourself. Have your lovely time in the village. There are so many things to see there. Beautiful. Those of you that watch will follow me all the way to the Acropolis. I will hand over the tickets for you. Keep the ticket in your hand. You have to scan it further on, right? After the scanning, you have two choices again. You could either walk on your own, all the way to Acropolis, enjoy the view, understand the meaning of Acropolis, always having this panoramic view, being able to see the enemies, right? And being prepared. Or you could wait for me and I will tell you. Enjoy down below, we have the beach, right? The first port. There's a smaller one on the back, known as the Bay of Apostle Paul. He arrived there once, you see. Apostle Paul. There's no sign on the Western Square, right? But if you get lost, just ask one of the locals. Right? The Does that take you up? Oh, my allergies will be gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking for you. I'm so sorry, ah, but this is beautiful. <laughs> but look at this beautiful train, man. It's also the shops on your right. You see this uh, stone connected by hand from the beaches. And the ocean, the ocean, the ocean, the ocean, the ocean, the So, the floor was laid on the side of the house. 
the mosaic. Yeah. You see the footprints on top of some of them? You understand? Yeah. So how much of all this is real? These things, these stones are all real. These are from ancient times. These are marble. What about the walls?
What? We're all moving slow. We're all thing. moving slow. No, we lost something. We're trying to find uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. So. Person? Well, I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Candles like a canvas. Did you see those canvas? I'll go back with you and then I'll figure it out. It's gonna be a good one. Hold on one second. Achso, Good too. I'm like looking at the culture sometimes. Even though the Spartans were more strict, the Athenians more liberal, they were in war with each other every now and then. But when they had a common enemy, like the Persians, well, they were forbidden to destroy the enemy's olive trees as they were afraid that Goddess Athena would punish them. birthday of Holy Mary. These are dedicated to the birthday of Holy Mary and some of the religious and believers, even though one might not go to church every Sunday anymore, but they're still. And in Greece we do celebrate Christmas, but Easter is the biggest feast in Greece. And these celebration days that the um, churches are dedicated to. In this case, the birthday of Holy Mary, 8th of September, and uh, that was um, just until uh, a couple of decades ago, actually what many people looked forward to, because this was always an opportunity to socialize. Still today, rain at all during summer, for months. So if one would like to enjoy nature, like sushi, <laughs> but anyhow, the resin, was antiseptic, right? So they put it in the wine already in the ancient times, and sailors used to have this on the ships. And that was protecting the wine from getting sour. The Greeks used to flavor the wine already back then, not only with its resin, but also fruits like uh, figs, but also 
honey, getting honey wine. You might like to have something stronger, a glass of ouzo perhaps, that's not a typical Greek. Ouzo is uh, a bit uh, stronger, around uh, 38 or 40 percent. Flavored, if you want something even stronger, then you would order uh, a bit of suma, as we call our roads, suma, that um, on Crete, known as raki, or houses even, that many times had mosaic floors and wall paintings there. The men used to meet up with their friends, having meetings where they drank a lot of wine, the food, meetings that were known as symposiums. When we say symposium today, these are meetings in general, seminars, conferences, and so on. Back in the day, it meant to drink together. Sim means together. Posium is to drink. Symposium, drink together. The fifth harbor back then. The left. There are some of them open already, some of these taverns, this area, known for the delicious food. But these are areas not many tourists uh, find a way to walk and go. Most of the times they are in the more modern or recent, I should say, part of the city and also uh, in the old town. The more recent part is where all the public buildings are from the 1920s. You remember architecture like the courthouse, the post office, the town hall and so on, the theater. Just next to it, on your one o'clock, let's say, you see part of the walls. Soon enough, on the left, after the traffic lights, you will be able to see the entrance, one of the entrances into the old town. But there are more uh, of them closer to the port, further ahead. I will show you where to walk. It's a pavement, like here on the right hand, you see. It just continues around. On the left you see one of the entrances. And further back, your left shoulder, a walk and an entrance into the moat, if you like to walk in the moat. But quite hot and warm at this time of the day with the walls, high walls on both sides. It's really lovely in the afternoon to walk there. So we will get into your right here. Soon enough you'll see the gate, but if you were just coming the same way <coughs> and walk on the pavement around the corner to the left, you'll reach the traffic lights, for example, just a bit further, and you will just cross the road. There's another smaller path. If you want to exit on the other gate, just very close by on the left, the small path on the left here, you just cross. You see how people are walking, some steps up, right? Just cross and to the left, another gate. But anyhow, this is uh, where you soon will get dropped off. So I want to thank you all for today.
Yes. Just say we just ate. You want to hang around here? Yeah. You see a sign that says toilets on the wall. Oh, okay. I'll head over with you. Okay. He walked through here. Walk, cut through. You know? Okay, so when you get off in Rhodes, just going to the old town, that's all you gotta do is hang out in there. <laughs> you know? This was in Rhodes, we went to Right off the port was a little square. Actually, it was an old roundup. I'm surprised you didn't get a hero. This is a memorial in the center here in memory of the Jews lost at the Holocaust. Never forget. It's a nice little square here. It's almost like I came across the street and it's its own little square that has little markets and everything. This is how I expected Greece to be. But I lost your dad again. One thing I didn't get was a magnet to put on my refrigerator. No, I like these. For two dollars. They're all one at the uh, other thing. Yeah. I like the old town one. I went 
to blend those. Look, it's funny. I picked up the same one that's got that. I like the old one. Now his My knee. knee just collapsed for some reason. I don't know why. Every once in a while it does that. Can we go there? Can we go to St. Paul Mendoz today? Yeah. Recording? Yep, I am. Never turned it. You gotta walk, huh? is our ship. Pretty good sized ship. Not a baby ship, it's a big ship. It's a pretty good sized ship. Slowly keep walking. There's units along the road. There are many different places in the colors. Okay. Okay. Sometimes people ask 
Another bayad. The wings that we see here and the wings underneath. And the wings that we see here to look like a picture. Turkey, and we've just gone through Ephesus or something like that. And now we're just going back through a little market before we head back. This stuff was built in the eighth to the sixth century before Christ. Columns. Machine made 
just the machine is adding like this, the, the yarns and the part is being like this, they add the glue out the back. When the glue goes away, and you, instead of using the vacuum machine, pile comes up. Then you put it in the garbage, go to the market, buy the new one. That's the marketing issues. It's not good. And other countries, like uh, Iran, uh, now the horizontal lines, my dear guests, goes in between, as I explained to you before. Then what they do, they have to kick the pile. We can have a bad scissor, you know, trimming the... Uh, Favor, yeah, that's it. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, see this? This this scissor works by double hand. One side to the another side. This thick, thickness is getting the longest of the part. By using the same scissor, you can use a thicker, you can get a thicker or thinner part instead of changing this part. That is Wouldn't have carpet. Yeah. How was that visit today? Not crowded? Not yet. Too much people here. Yeah, I heard that lots of big crews. Big time. The season starting right now. Oh. A lot of one, two people coming from Asia. Oh, I don't need one. I don't have a place. None. None at all. Do you have a space for them? Please. <laughs> That's good. There's this space over there. The same design and same technique to get which has been done by 2,500 disabled. I shall be. You took our letter, look at that. You know what you're saying? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Please look at the colors. Kim Bela Zila, Allah, 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 this is such a lovely, lovely, beautiful piece, which, which make me proud of that because this has been done by my tribe. My tribe, since thousand years that, that you know, uh, using this kind of dark colors and that design, red and blue, mainly measured colors, red and blue, but a wool on this, and if you touch two together, you can feel the difference. That wool is coming with the Angora wool. This wool is a sheep wool, Highlanding and a Dolian sheep wool. The wool quality is very important. You can step on them. And what I suggest you, if it is not difficult for you, take off your shoes later on, step on a carpet, that's like a therapy, because, you know, the body is absorbing. Body, during the daytime, absorbing lots of static electrics. As long as you walk on a carpet, touch the pod, wool, take off that static electric from your body. Like you get in shower or you walk on the grass or earth, that is happening like that. That's why, when we get in our home in our country, we take our shoes and walk on the carpets, but a young generation, unfortunately, they are not doing this. Uh, they are wearing a shoes and they get divorced, but we are not getting divorced because we, we walk on a carpet by the naked thing, essentially, no pies. Am I right? <laughs> she like that. Right, let's get the drinks. Yeah, set again. Yeah, Get you Cheese rolls. Okay, you can pick up the drinks, the wine and the beer, red one, white one, and Rocky. That's a Rocky. Okay, what's my favorite? That's a Rocky. And 
Can I learn, my, my dear guest, can I learn which state in which country you're coming from? Where are you from? California. You are seeing a classic design. These are 17th century wool and cotton type of wraps. This is a beautiful lamb's wool. Here is another one as a collectible item because focus the colors, please. Those colors, natural colors of the animal, brown, bay, black, and white are the natural colors of the animal. It's kind of collectible item. It's a really lo lovely lamb's wool too. That is, that is royal carpet, we call it. It's a hereka, H-A-R-E-K-A. -E the wool of this one and this one, my dear guys, if you're gonna walk on those by the naked feet, where I suggest you walk on those rugs by the naked feet, you can realize the different qualities. This is coming with the merino one. And here is another beautiful example. Okay, so look at the now, for the variation about the sizes, size, bir tane çeyrek açalım, bir starting like this size, 3 by 5, 4 by 6, 5 by 7, 6 by 9, 7 by 10. Most of them come in with the rectangle shape. Bir tane bir var, bir The round carpet, round carpet, as I mentioned, we do not have much, but we got some. Here is the flying one. <laughs> say your friends, you don't see the flying carpet. It's to say it's great. Actually, before he used to do, uh, he came here for working. He used to do the pizza. <laughs> now, okay. Now, what do you have seen? These are more traditional design, except this particular item. This one is a braiding design, which we call it. Uh, has been done by the Gen Z. Doesn't speak to me, but my daughter age, like a 20 up to 30 years old, they love this kind of modern thing. I don't like it, but you may like it, I, I have a respect. Coming with the uh, alpaca and bamboo, you touch it and feel the beauty of the material. Whenever you finish your drinks, my dear guests, be, prepare yourself walking on a carpet by the naked feet, please. Please, I'm begging you doing that. That's kind of lifetime experience you're gonna have once on your life. Now, Coming like a creme de la creme. Creme de la creme. He's so excited to show you. He likes that because he's watched uh, since 20 years making a carpet. This particular piece has got uh, 6.8 million stitches. Has been done by three years, one and a half years. One and a half years time, okay? But pleasure of your eyes. Design is a special design. This design has been chosen in 2008. Magnificent carpet of two. Uh, year 2008. See the design, pick up the design with the special color combination. Please look at the color. Did you hear that thing? See the other one, that I Excuse me, what did you see? Is it, is it, is it good? Yeah. That's a lovely, lovely uh, color combination. And the pick up design, and you see the pick up from uh, that one. Uh, yeah. Wow. Now see and touching, please. And or put your put your empty cups if you finish whenever you finish underneath your seats, please push them back further a little bit and prepare yourself. Take off your shoes. I want to see your shoes. Take off. Best idea. Do you want or you don't want? How much is this one right there? That's I'm coming to that point. The prices. I'll give you the prices average because I have two ten thousand pieces here, ma'am. 10,000 pieces. To give you an idea about the size, let's see the size starting. This size, like the average size, three by five. Usually people using it as a doormat, uh, entranceway, foyer area. This can be made in uh, one month up to four months. If it is made in one month, because we are we are making here those rugs, one month we pay 380 euros to ladies. Look, calculating. Mathematics is helping us at this time. 380 plus the material value on this one. You can find a carpet here, 550 euro as a size like this and goes up. Why is 550? That's the bottom line, like a coarser one, okay? You can find even the same size, 550 up to 3,000. And one size bigger. Bigger size like this. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you two different samples. This size can be made in uh, two months, eight weeks, up to uh, seven months, not that one. Uh, this, this particular item made in, uh, 
nine, ten months time, but if it is made in eight, eight weeks, uh, eight weeks for two months, let's say, we pay uh, 750 euro plus the material. It's starting up 880 up, 900 the bottom line euro and goes <coughs> up uh, 3,500, 4,000 dollars. You can find a carpet. In this gap, you can find lots of options. Now, you can say, okay, good, I like to buy a carpet. Somebody wants to buy that one, I know that, but I'm not telling you the price because. You know, this is this is the most beautiful one. Yeah, buy my kid a house. You, you, you <laughs> might buy it. We have, we have more options like that. And sites like this in US, Texas, uh, Houston, last store, buy from us in New York, selling this in between 12 to 15,000. This carpet is very useful using on the big to dining room table, eight chairs like that. We are selling this $3,500 here. $3,500, you can buy this carpet. Okay, you say that I like to buy it, but how can I carry this fit? We don't have a shipping facilities free for charge. You do not pay anything extra, whatever. And all this area is uh, uh, agricultural areas, and uh, we'll be driving. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Have a good one. Is that you? No, those are hound teeth. What are they? Hound teeth. The only thing ones are called hound teeth. Hound? Yeah, H O U N D. They're big, long teeth. Huh. Those are hound teeth. So, what do they use those for? They don't. They're just. You know, and all the others are mullet over there? Somewhere off of Grace, somewhere.